Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV, and for today's run and gun, we're going to be using a Remington rolling block. The Remington rolling block is a single shot breech loading rifle, so this will probably be, be the most challenging run and gun we've done to date. Um, for those uh, not familiar, basically this is the gun that saved Remington. It was designed in the 1860s, and it came originally in black powder cartridges. However, this rolling block, being a number five, is chambered in 7mm Mauser. Now you can see why it's called a rolling block here. The action is I can only describe it as saying elegantly simple. They are absolutely fantastically machined with incredible tolerances, especially considering it was a rifle from the 1860s. But you can see the breech block swings freely down as it's kind of a giant bearing, but this surface on the hammer is what locks the action as it fires the gun. That prohibits the breech block from flying back down or, or opening up. So really, as I said, it's elegantly simple, truly a brilliant firearm. So. The loading procedure is as follows. The user, well this is a dummy cartridge of course, and like I said in 7mm Mauser, but you would cock the hammer, throw open the breech block, insert your cartridge, close the breech block, and then fire the gun. And then you would open the hammer, pry open the breech block, and the shell are automatically ejects. The sights are somewhat crude, not really bad, but acceptable for the day. There's a slider with 100 uh, at the minimum, and then there's a ladder that goes up to 1900. So all in all, a pretty well thought out rifle here. I've, we've never done this with a single shot, so I may well embarrass myself, but the course will consist of a 60 yard start with 10 rounds on a target uh, with some on the move, and uh, yeah, you'll see what happens. All right, guys, so now we're here with the Remington rolling block. We're going to do a run and gun and see how it goes. We've never done it with a single shot rifle before. So uh, this is kind of a trial run, if anything. So let's give it a go and embarrass myself. All right, guys, I think that might have gone pretty well. Let's go downrange. All right, guys, so I'll count the pings in the video, but I'm pretty sure I hit all 10 rounds with the rolling block. I will say with the 7mm Mauser, it doesn't recoil that much. It also helps that the gun is pretty heavy. Um, unfortunately, we don't have any paint. We didn't paint the target, but it's pretty obvious which rounds are from the rolling block. You can see they're greatly pockmarked here. Um, so yeah, all I got to say is I'm of the opinion that this is probably I would actually, yeah, I'm going to make an opinion. This is probably the best single shot rifle ever made. Um, it's strong, it's fast. I would definitely take it over a Martini Henry or a Sharps rifle. So let's go back to the room and uh, talk a little bit about the run. So I'm not sure if trapdoor or Sharps rifle fanboys are a thing these days, but I probably sufficiently pissed them off making that opinion. <laughs> but realistically, the rolling block is mind blowingly fast for a single shot rifle, and I do believe that a well trained soldier could make very efficient use of this. That said, as you've seen in our bolt action running guns, having five rounds in reserve was a force multiplier. I mean, even a crag rifle loading awkwardly through the side would give the shooter a huge advantage over a single shot rifle. That said, the rolling block run went better than I thought and I really enjoyed this. Big thanks to Ventura Munitions for providing our ammo. We hope to see you next time, guys. Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFB TV. Really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, maybe consider donating a dollar or two a month to our Patreon account. It really helps us out and it would allow us to keep doing what we're doing. Until next time.